you're coming to I'm not doing anything against you, bro. My hands are up here. Go ahead, do your pat down. Listen to you. Shit. You need to calm down. You need to put your phone down. No, I'm gonna keep it right here. I have the right to record. I have the right to record. You have a body cam? Is it on? Yeah. Is it on? Yeah, it is. Better be on. All right, what's your name and badge number? My name is Agent Gutierrez. And badge number? I don't have a badge number. What's we your identification a... number? You know what Just, I'm talking about. You have about. my name. I need your identification okay. you number. You have my name. What's your and identification you ID? You know what, Put it down. I have it on recorded on camera. <laughs> I can't take your word. I just told you that I crossed walking. You got my ID. You You, you still doubt that I'm a U.S. citizen? Now. Wait a minute. This Border Patrol agent just told him he's not going to take his word for it. But isn't that what they do when you pull up to a checkpoint and they ask you, are you an American citizen? They want you to answer yes, and then they take your word for it. This agent just contradicted his whole practice. Welcome back to Audit the Law, folks. We're back with another Border Patrol video where the government wants to turn this country into a third world country. They just don't want you to know your rights. Let's check out this video. We'll be pausing for some comments. I'll give you my final thoughts at the end. I'll be dropping the original channel link in the description for you guys. As always, let's get right to it. Man, Step over in you still doubting that I'm a U.S. citizen? Step over in secondary. Man, you're fucking bullshitting. No, I don't want to go to secondary. This is his options. You sit here, we, we wait all the traffic, and we go to secondary. You're the one traffic. holding up traffic, bro. No, we're trying to do no. an investigation. What, what do you need to know? What do you need to know that I'm a U.S. citizen or not? What? You calm down, man. He's over there. He's over there getting all fucking irate with me and shit. I'm inside you for blocking traffic. I'm not blocking traffic, dude. You are. I'd like to go on my way. Whoa! These agents are detaining this man there on the road, and they're trying to blame him, saying that he's the one blocking traffic. These are clear signs of psychosis, folks. Kind of reminds me when cops are speeding down the road without no emergency lights. They ram into someone and they still try to find a way to blame the other person. But that's what's going to happen. Man, y'all are straight up tripping, dude. Why are we Always tripping? fucking tripping, dude. Really? Like why? Yeah. Well, yes. Or are you a citizen? I'm a citizen. I told them no I idea. crossed the border walking. Did I not tell you I'm a citizen? Yes, I have to verify. I can't Did, take your what, you asked my ID? I, I gave you my ID. What else do you want? We got what ID? Check, so what check what? what? We want to check. You want my fingerprint? What ID? Did you, you want me to have? piss in a cup or some shit? What ID did you did you give me? My driver's license. Your he still got it. Then why do you ask for it? Because he needs your name so we can run everything. Nah, but that's we fucking it stupid, there, dog. Okay? Stupid. It might be stupid. To yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Whatever, bro. Yeah, whatever, bro. Y'all tripping? Fuck you. <clears throat> you just crossed right now? Yeah, I did. Okay. What's his name and his badge number? I need his name and his badge number. You saw it on the tag. I did not see it. All right, step out of the vehicle for me. May I get his name and his badge number? Once you step out and after I'm done talking to you. Yeah, you. right. You guys always say that shit, man. Leave your phone there. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it on me, man. I have the right to record. You have anything sharp on? No, I don't have nothing. Do you have anything and sharp? And go manhandle me, bro. Put it down. You Put turn it towards down. me. I can use that as. You're coming to yeah, I'm not doing anything against you, bro. My hands are up here. Listen Go ahead, do your pat down. Listen to you. Shit. You need to calm down. You need to put your phone down. Okay? No, I'm gonna keep it right here. I have the no, right to record. We're, we're I have the right to record. You have a body cam? Leave it on. Is yeah, it on? Yeah. Is it on? Yeah, it is. Better be on. All right. What's your name and badge number? My name is Agent Gutierrez. And badge number? I don't have a badge number. What's we your identification a... number? You know Just, what I'm talking about. You have about. my name. I need your identification okay. number. You have my name. What's your and identification you ID? You know what, dude? Put it down. I have it on recorded on camera. <laughs> we need to talk to you, okay? So let's go. Look, why are you grabbing me because like that, Because you're not complying. Look, dude, that's why you took my okay. phone away, huh? No. That's why you took it's my phone away. camera. Look, I have this on. I need your identification number. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. I'm guessing this is why the agents wanted him to put the phone down so they could manhandle him, violate his rights, treat him like a dog, sit on the ground, 
What kind of America do we live in when you're the one being questioned if you belong here? If government wants to let everybody into this country, why the hell are they going around harassing Americans? Somebody please explain that to me in the comment section. Shut up. Okay. What's another, what's your name and badge number? And name and ID number, please. It's right here. I don't see it. I don't have a badge the number. That's why you have no card, idea what card you're talking right about. Here. No idea what you're talking hey, about. Daniel Stalman gave me his ID number. What's your have name and ID number? Have a good day. Name and ID number, please. You you an you, actual name or actual you encountered me for no reason? Fuck you, man. What do you need? What's your name and ID number of everybody who who encountered me? You're the I'm the supervisor. What do you need? Name and ID number of everybody that encountered me. You're free to go. Can I please have the name and ID number right of everybody right that encountered right me? Right Record it. Can you say it? Right Can you state it? Hey, Carrillo. What's yours? Munoz. Munoz. You don't need anyone. Over else. here. We're the ones who talked to you. What was your you name? Don't need to talk to nobody else. I'm sorry? Magnuson. Magnuson. Magnuson or Mackison? Let me get it on camera, bro. No, no, camera's right here. You can see. And what's his, the guy over there at the... At the booth. That's all you need, man. No, 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 no. I need the guy at the booth's name. I already gave gave you all the information. That why you are you need, why are you refraining from giving me his information? Because I just gave you mine, man. The supervisor. No, no. Because I wanted I want to officially file a complaint on him. So I need his his information. The steps of how to do that. I already know how to do that. Okay, then you already know. So I don't need to give you. I need his information to to be able to officially file a complaint on him. Yeah, you get it through a Freedom of Information Act. No, how do I get that if I don't have his name? Steps are online. That's what the Freedom you guys of Information are, man, Act does. You can get everybody's Whatever, bro. Whatever, here. bro. You can get the whole entire shift, whatever you want to do, and the steps are online of how to file a complaint. Here's a card that outlines that a canine alert equals probable cause. That's why you were detained. The canine didn't alert go. until after. Here you go. go ahead, take the, the card. The canine didn't alert until you guys already were searching the vehicle. You're free to go, buddy. Do you realize that? Do you realize that? You're free to go, man. That you guys, the canine didn't even alert. Until after I was, I was already incarcerated. Okay, so mere suspicion puts you in secondary. Mere and then the suspicion. Canine alert. Oh shit! Because he, he already he had already me out in the fucking cell before he even searched the vehicle. The canine wasn't even brought out until I was already in handcuffs and in the cell. You're free to go. That wasn't RAS. That's not how you it works, bro. RAS. He's trying to border patrol. You. Shut you up, man! Shut up. That's a bunch of lies, dude. No, it's not. You can Always. Our authorities outlined on the card. Like you said, you're free Jesus to go. Fucking Have a nice Christ. Day. No, I'm so. filing complaints on all of you guys. You're free to do so. Look at this. Look at all the fucking filth, man. Look at how dirty you guys left this shit. You guys put the fucking dog in here. It's all dirty as fuck. You, you guys realize this is done? a rental? That's fucking Both bitch ass motherfuckers, right, dude. dude. All right, folks. Let me read to you the email that was sent to me by this dude. Hey brother, how's it going? Hope all is well. I'm reaching out to you today because I have yet another encounter with the Border Patrol checkpoint right on State Highway 94 near the city of El Cajon. I have already sent you one video of my interaction at this checkpoint before and you featured it on your channel, which I greatly appreciate. I do not reach out to gain publicity nor clout of some sort. I am not a First Amendment auditor, though I respect what channels such as yourself and many others do. I am sending this to you in hopes that maybe you or the auditing community can give some information as to how I can proceed legally here, or if there is anything I am doing wrong, I greatly appreciate any feedback. First of all, I don't think you did anything wrong. Secondly, I'm not an attorney. I can't give legal advice. What I do try to help with is an education process of knowing your rights and knowing how to stand on them. Recording the interaction 
definitely helps because we get to break down the videos, talk about them, and we get to share it with the world. Now, for those of you who are watching, we can all use your help, myself included. You think I got to half a million subs by knowing all of this shit on my own? Hell no. You guys got me here. I learned a lot from all of you guys in the comment section. You guys are a big part of this channel, so thank you. Now I'd like to send you guys over to his channel. I'll be dropping the link in the description and in the pinned comment. If you guys have any information that he can possibly use to help himself, definitely shoot it his way. It sucks that we find ourselves in these situations, fighting tickets, paying fines, and sometimes we have to try to figure out what the hell is happening once it's already happened. Today we live in the age of information. I'm hoping there will be a time where lawyers become obsolete, where they are no longer needed. We know chat GPT and artificial intelligence is getting smarter by the minute, but it's just not there yet. In what year will we see lawyers become obsolete? 2029? 2045? Because those are the days where artificial intelligence will start reaching a level where everyone will improve their daily lives. Everyone that knows what to look for, at least. And that's what the Age of Information offers us. A place to find information at the ready. Folks, with that being said, I want to send you guys over to his channel. Links will be in the description and in the pinned comment. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.